Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and today we continue with our topic of discussion which is classification 2. Uh, previously uh, we discussed uh, the five kingdoms of taxonomy whereby we learned about kingdom Monera, kingdom Protoctista and kingdom Fungi. So today we shall embark on the fourth kingdom and this is kingdom Plantae. Now in kingdom Plantae uh, this is where we have uh, all the different categories of plants. So generally we have the plants here. And before we look at uh, the specific plants that we have in the kingdom Plantae, uh, it is important to have a summary of the entire kingdom. And uh, the first thing, we'll have a, a flowchart, a flowchart diagram, and that is uh, the main kingdom, which is the kingdom Plantae. And this kingdom is divided into, into divisions. In the kingdom Plantae, we don't talk of the phyla, or we don't talk of the phylum. But instead, we study divisions. So there are three divisions that we shall study under the kingdom Plantae. So let's first of all have the three divisions emerging from there. The first division, we call it division bryophyta. Division bryophyta. Then we have another division And this division is known as division pteridophyta. Pteridophyta, a silent P. Then we have the largest division consisting of the highest number of members or different numbers of plants. This is the division spermatophyta. So those are the three divisions that we have in the kingdom Plantae. And as we have said earlier, in kingdom Plantae, we don't use the word phylum. Phylum is used in other kingdoms like kingdom Animalia, but we don't use phylum in kingdom Plantae. Instead, we use division. So we have division bryophyta, division pteridophyta, and uh, division spermatophyta. Now, in the division uh, bryophyta, we'll take a few examples, e.g., the mosses and the liverworts. Those are the plants that we find in the division bryophyta. These plants are not so advanced. They are the least advanced plants. Yeah? In fact, they lack a vascular system. They don't have a vascular system. But we shall get into the details about them uh, individually. Then when you go to division pteridophyta, this division is a little bit advanced. In terms of the size, in terms uh, of uh, complexity, and so on and so forth. So here we have members e.g. ferns, what is so called, what is usually referred to as the fern plant. We have the hostels and so on and so forth. So those are the examples that we have in the division Terido Fighter. Note here uh, the spellings are very very important and then also good to note that uh, the first letter of the division should be capitalized pteridophyta spermatophyta 
also this one should be capitalized also for bryophyta it's a requirement when you're writing the taxonomic units any of the taxonomic units known as the taxons whether at kingdom level the phylum or division level class order family they should be written uh, they sh the name should start with a capital letter then we have the division uh, spermatophyta and before we give the examples here uh, we are going to divide uh, division spermatophyta into two subdivisions so here we have subdivisions we have two subdivisions And we have a sub division that is known as gymno spermophyta. Gymno, not gymo, but gymno. Gymnospermophyta is one of the subdivisions. We look at it in more details as we continue. Then we have another subdivision of the division spermatophyta. And here we refer to it as the subdivision angiospermophyta. Angiospermophyta. So we have the gymnospermophyta and we have the angiospermophyta. So uh, the gymnospermophyta is what is referred to as the gymnosperms, the so called gymnosperms. And basically, uh, these are the plants that, uh, that have their seeds not born within the fruit the seeds are not enclosed within the fruit in other words we refer to them as naked seeds uh, their seeds are naked they also uh, do not have uh, uh, they are not also born from flowers so the seeds are not uh, born from uh, the flowers but instead they are born from the cones they are born from the cones uh, in the subdivision angiospermophyta what is referred to as the angiosperms. Uh, these are the plants that, uh, uh, that are a little bit more advanced. And uh, these are the common uh, flower-bearing plants. They, fl they bear flowers. And of course, those flowers are the ones that later form seeds that are enclosed within the fruits. So here, we are saying that the seeds are enclosed. So here... We have naked seeds. Naked seeds or seeds that are not enclosed within the fruit. E.g., for example, the pines. Uh, the pines, the cypress, you'll find the seeds are just naked. They are not enclosed. Um, then we have the uh, angio, uh, the seeds enclosed within the fruit within the fruit um, the angiospermophyta will also divide it further we'll also divide it a little bit further into now the classes we have the classes And there are some two common classes that we have. We have class monocotyledonae and class dicotyledonae. That's why we have the dicotyledonous plants and the monocotyledonous plants. So those ones are part of the angiospermophyta. So we have the class dicotyledonae. And then we have the class monocotyledonae.
the class monocotyledonae so basically uh, this is a summary this is a summary of the entire kingdom plantae we have three divisions that we shall be studying a division bryophyta division pteridophyta division spermatophyta division bryophyta which i have said are, are the least the least advanced we have the mosses and the liverworts the moss plant the liverworts and so on and so forth division pteridophyta we have the ferns and the hostels these ones are a little bit more advanced uh, division spermatophyta we have not given examples because we have so many examples we have first of all split the division into two subdivisions the subdivision gymnospermophyta the subdivision angiospermophyta then we have said that the gymnospermophyta have naked seeds the angiospermophyta the seeds are enclosed within the fruit and then finally we have gone into the class level the angiospermophyta are divided into class dicotyledonae and class monocotyledonae so of course later we we'll look at each one of these in in more details but first of all uh, let's study the general characteristics of kingdom plantae Uh, basically, the one thing we know about the plants is that plants have chlorophyll, which is the green pigment, and that is the one that is responsible for photosynthesis. So basically, all this. All these members of the kingdom plantae, they have that characteristic. They have cellulose cell walls. Their cell walls are made of cellulose, which is a, a carbohydrate. Uh, that's another unique feature of the kingdom plantae. Uh, of course, we can also say that most of the plants are differentiated most of them are differentiated into roots stem and leaves most of them are differentiated into roots uh, stem and uh, leaves although not not all of them but we are saying that most of them are differentiated into roots uh, stem and leaves and then uh, we also say that uh, the members of the kingdom plantae they show alternation alternation of generations they show alternation of generations and to explain that further showing the alternation of generations is whereby plants exist in two forms they exist in two forms that is one form bears the gametes and the other form bears the spores they exist in two forms the form that bears the gametes it's called the gametophyte this one bears gametes we'll find out what gametes are there for and then we have another form that is known as the sporophyte. We have the sporophyte and this one bears spores. So the existence in two forms within the same type of plant is what we are calling alternation of generations. The generations alternate. You'll find that some plants, they have more gametophyte than sporophyte. Others have more sporophyte than gametophyte. And then uh, plants, they show both sexual and asexual reproduction. So there is the, because of the presence of the gametes, 
we have sexual reproduction taking place. And because of the uh, spores, we also have the asexual reproduction taking place. So we are going to uh, stop there with the introduction to Kingdom Plantae. And then we'll have a brief assignment on this. So the assignment, the first question, state three characteristics that are specific to kingdom plantae. Number two, what is alternation of generations? And number three, name three divisions in kingdom plantae. We'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.